started. Um, my name is Emily, and I write for Moon Chase, which is a Sailor Moon news blog. Woo! <laughs> um, if you can't hear me well enough, just tell me to speak louder. Okay, and I'm going to start off with the merchandise before we go into industry kind of stuff, because the merchandise is a lot of pictures that will go fast. <laughs> Okay, so this presentation is going to have information about the new merchandise available in Canada and the U.S., the English language manga re-release, and the new Sailor Moon anime, which I'm sure you're all dying to hear. <laughs> okay, uh, Moon Chase, if you're not familiar with us, it's a Sailor Moon news blog, and we're your source for just about everything happening in the Sailor Moon world. You can visit our site and subscribe to our news feed at moon chasecom uh, you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, I'm going to start off with the clothing by Hybrid Apparel. Um, now, Hybrid Apparel mostly does t-shirts. Um, they first started releasing the, the shirts in mid-late July 2011. And, um, and they started by exclusively selling went to Hot Topic in stores and online. Um, and the first batch included four designs. And, um, and then the men's t-shirt was released on October 18th, and it was announced first on Moon Chase in early September 2011. Hybrid um, Apparel had actually contacted us, and, um, and we started promoting their, their stuff on our site, where they gave us high-res pictures so that we could show, uh, give you a better picture of, of, of what things look like. And, uh, and then they started reading our Facebook page and got comments from the fans. And a lot of fans were asking for a men's style t-shirt, and that's why they ended up making one. Um, but it was the only one that they made, unfortunately. <laughs> I guess it didn't sell well enough for Hot Topic. Um, they did expand to an offering of other exclusive designs for FYE, uh, For Your Entertainment, which is a store, a chain of stores in the States, but they only sold in stores, not online. So if you were unlucky enough to be in a state that didn't have it, you still couldn't buy it. And then more t-shirts have been added to Hot Topic and appear to be successful, mostly. Um, however, in, in like the last year or so, Hot Topic has scaled back t-shirts to be online only first before adding more to stores. Um, and I actually went, made a trip to Hot Topic at the Eaton Center, and they don't have any Sailor Moon stuff anymore. Sad <laughs> thing. Um, unfortunately, the, with like all of like two stores, I think we have Hot Topic in Canada and they're in Ontario. Um, they kind of get stuff randomly. They don't get to choose what they get. You can contact them and ask them if they'll be getting something in and be notified about it. Um, but for the most part, you might just have to order online, and, and a lot of the stuff is available online. Um, Another uh, another place of hybrid apparel was, was selling was uh, Hastings, the Go Hastings. They, uh, they did a test shirt um, at GoHastings.com, and uh, and that was another exclusive design. They don't uh, they don't really have like a variety of designs that they were selling out to various retailers. They were doing exclusives specific to whatever each retailer was asking for. So here's one, uh, some of the recent ones that came in the last year. So you can see the, the big picture from Hybrid Apparel and, uh, and the little picture from Hot Topic's website. There's another one, the inners. And then a chippy one, bars. <laughs> Neptune and Uranus. So they do have a variety of designs, and they're a lot less cheesy than some of the ones that they first did. <laughs> uh, here's the t-shirt that they had for Hastings, because there was only the one like, I decided to include it as well. And then this is the t-shirts from FYE. And these were actually provided by Hybrid Apparel. They took photos and sent them to me. <laughs> but not the greatest quality photos. Th those were the only shirts that they had at FYE, and I don't think they asked for it for any more. And let's move on to the new figure. Yay! <laughs> Very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, uh, um, 
so the new figure that, that's going to be released, um, they're, they're starting with Sailor Moon, and they're basically going to see how well it sells before they move on to any other Senshi. Um, it was recently announced, um, and it's a licensed figurine, and it uses the SH figure arts to articulation technology. I don't really know what that means. Um, it's fully posable, comes with three face parts, three left hand parts, five right hand parts, two moon sticks, with crystal and without, moon tiara effect parts, and Luna. I have pictures of all these. Um, the suggested retail price is going to be $42.99 US. Um, Pre-orders are starting now, but it's officially going to be on sale in August or September. Um, it depends on where you're ordering it from, what date they're going to give you. In Japan, the date is, is officially August. Um, retailers over here are mostly going to be saying September. Some of them will be saying early October, based on when they believe that they can actually fulfill the orders and ship them out. And here's some of the poses. And I do actually have a commercial that I'll show you guys after of the figure. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and so there you can see the, uh, the, the moon stick and that's the tiara effect part there. And they have also done this <laughs> test mercury. So this isn't officially happening yet. Mercury is not officially happening, um, but uh, it, it is a prototype um, that they want to they want to see how well things things go. Um, it might not be the next one. It could be the next one. Um, we did have a, an interview with that with uh, with Bluefin, who is the uh, the official licensor in North America. Um, and, uh, and so I have some of their answers here. Um, we asked them if the, uh, the packaging would be in English and how much assembly there would be. And they said the packaging and instructions will still be in Japanese. There may be an additional licensing sticker on the box that may vary by region, but that's only to mark it as officially licensed. Um, now, the, the Mercury, regarding the Mercury prototype, they said that it's a tease. Um, of an item that they, they, want, want, they want to test consumer reception before continuing forward. Uh, prototype figures without release dates or pricing information do not indicate an item is going to be released next. There have been many cases in other product lines where a prototype figure has been shown before, but it's either not been released or other characters have come out beforehand. Uh, we're hoping that they're going to release everybody, um, but it kind of depends on how well the first one sells. And, um, and regarding how much Naoko Takeuchi is, is actually involved, um, they said that she's involved and in the figure has been delayed until now by her request. Otherwise, the figure would have actually been revealed a few years ago. Um, and there are two bonus faces available in the first production. And uh, they'll be packaged inside and they'll be available on all figures in the first production cycle. They're, they're not willing to reveal production numbers or when the uh, second production will occur. Um, but in North America, um, they said that the first release of the figure will still be readily available for retailers to order at least until December. And um, that's about it for that. And there's another shot of the Mercury. So you can see she's unpainted. And moving on to the Great Eastern merchandise, they make a lot of stuff. They've also previously licensed Sailor Moon merchandise. They started listing uh, the new items online in early July 2011. The stuff that they make includes buttons, bags, embroidered patches, pin sets, caps, plushies, cell phone charms, lanyards, pillowcases, pillows. Towels, throw blankets, temporary tattoos, PVC wristbands, stickers, wall scrolls, binders, file folders, notebooks, memo pads, clocks, hinge wallets, body pillows, cosplay accessories, jewelry, iPhone cases, keychains, puzzles, postcards, and mugs. There will be a quiz at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of different Sailor Moon merchandise items are listed on their website, and you can look through. There's dozens of pages. So I've included a bunch of pictures of stuff that's been released in the last year. 
These are all pins. More pins. And these are the, what they call the pin sets. So you get the Luna and Artemis together, Moon and, and her brooch together, Mercury and her symbol together, and the Moon and the Cutie Moon Rod together. And then these are patches. <coughs> so they have the super deformed, and, and Luna and Artemis are available as well. And these are stickers. They have lots and lots of stickers. Even the outers. And some villains. Mm -hmm. And then there's some more like group stickers. And then these are some of the cell phone charms. Um, so there's the metal style over here, and then there's the, the other kind of color style here. Um, and then here's some of the clocks that they make. This I only saw the, the clocks recently. Um, so we if you want a Sailor Moon alarm clock, I don't know if I would trust it. Just because, you know, she's not very good with time. <laughs> um, and the keychains, so they have like these, uh, these cut out PVC ones, which are very nice, and, um, and then some of these other ones. Um, and, there. and then there's just the lanyards here. Um, I do have one of the older style lanyards here as well, so you can actually see it. You're welcome to come up at the end and take a look at things a little bit more closely. Um, and then we get into the cosplay accessories. So they've got the tiaras, which all basically look the same. Um, they have a whole bunch of earrings. Um, they have earrings for basically all of them. Uh, and these are, this is just the more recent stuff. So they've got moons, uh, earrings, and choker. And then they've got different necklaces. So they've got the dog tags and then the ribbons. There's some more of that. And then some kind of generic Sailor Mooney earrings and crystal necklace. And here's some more necklaces and bracelets. And I have uh, I have the one of the charm bracelets up here as well, which you can take a look at. And, um, and these are earrings and some of the PVC wristbands, which are these kinds of things. It's actually really funny when you look at the packaging. I got it, and the first thing I read was that it says, not for ages 15 years and under. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, somebody didn't prove that. <laughs> Live dangerously. <laughs> And, uh, and the mugs are, of a, are a bit of a more new thing here. Uh, they have for, for all the sentries. They look pretty nice. Um, they even have tuxedo mats. And then these are pillowcases. And then there's some throw pillows. And then that's a beach towel and then a blanket. And these are the body pillows, which I'm sure you've seen throughout the dealer's room. Here's the more. Ladies, you can get a tuxedo mask body pillow. Oh, yes. <laughs> you can have him in your bed every night. <laughs> and then there are the new plushies. And they even have Luna and Artemis, which are very cute. But these are selling in the dealer's room. You might have to look around if you want to actually get a set of all of them, because um, some of them are out of certain certain characters. And these are the wallets. Um, so they have a hinge on them, as you can see with the, the blue one here. And then it's kind of generic inside, has slots for cards and all that. And there's a Mars hinge wallet here, and more of a... I doubt it's actually leather, but that kind of style of wallet. And the more hinge wallets. I don't know who came up with the plaid. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that little Artemis head is actually a cosmetic bag, believe it or not. It's very adorable. This bag underneath is also a cosmetic bag, and the bag on the right is a lunch bag. So you can have the Sailor Moon lunch bag feel like a kid again. Um, backpacks, they have two styles, like the drawstring and, and a full-on backpack. 
and they do have them with, with other characters on them. Uh, tote bags and then like the, the over the shoulder kind of bag, messenger bag. And then these are wall scrolls. <coughs> so I think these are kind of neat how they have like some of the, the Japanese typography on there as, as kind of like an artistic element. And let's move on to costumes. 